What's up guys? It's Lauren and welcome to or back to my channel. In this video, I am going to be telling you guys about parrots who helped solve some gruesome crimes. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Now I was super excited to film this video. Like, it's just so interesting to think that a bird could help with crimes. So anyways, let's just dive into it. So we're all familiar with the talent that many parrots have. Mimicking voices and just like the lifelong bond that they can have with their owner. Now scientists believe that parrots have the same level of logical reasoning as a four-year-old human child, which doesn't seem like a lot because like what can four-year-olds do and think of like they're barely in kindergarten but like for a parrot with a tiny a tiny head tiny brain that's pretty dang good and this means being able to understand basic math concepts and making associations between different words and actions and parrots have a lifespan like an average lifespan from between about 20 years to 50 years so even that 20 year mark which is like the minimum is long okay maybe not long past other house pets but then the 50 is long past other house pets imagine having a pet for that long my grandparents have a bird it's not a parrot but they've had that thing since before i was born and i'm gonna be 18 this month and although parrots cannot testify in court that would be weird and odd um they have made convictions and cases. So I'm going to now go through some cases that have included a parrot who helped solve the case. In 2014, police were struggling to make progress on a case in Agra, India, until the pet parrot named Hercule decided to help them out. I'm sorry if I butcher any of the names in this video, but Vijay Sharma came home to find that his wife Nilan and his dog had been murdered, and the house had also had some stolen goods, or some goods taken from it. The only survivor was the pet parrot, and he had gone completely silent following the traumatic event. However, he became violently fearful anytime Vijay's nephew entered the home. And if Vijay even mentioned the nephew's name, the bird would start screeching really loud, being very agitated, just whenever the name was even mentioned. And Vijay notified the police. They had probable cause to bring him in for questioning either way because of his phone records. So it worked out that he was able to bring him in and the cause wouldn't be because a parrot told us to. Now, he confessed that he had an accomplice and the two broke in and their intent was only to steal things from the house. Um, but then they were caught by Nilan and decided they had to kill her, I guess? But it doesn't make sense why they had to kill the dog because it's not like the dog is going to go tell. If anything, killed the bird, not the dog. In 2015, the Michigan police were called to the house of Martin and Glenna Durham. And when the neighbor first found the couple, it seemed to have been just an outside attack. Now, Martin was shot five times and he was killed. Um, Glenna, on the other hand, was shot two times in the head, yet she somehow was still alive and so she was rushed to the hospital and treated. During the investigation, several of the couple's children found a collection of suicide letters from their mother, but believe it or not, the parrot was even more disturbing than that. After the death of Martin, his African grey pet parrot was sent to live with his ex-wife. Shortly after arriving, he began reenacting arguments using two distinct voices. He also supposedly shouted, don't effing shoot in the victim's voice. And it was believed that Bud had witnessed the final argument before Glenna shot her husband and killed him. She was convicted of an attempted murder-suicide and given a life sentence. It was 2018 in Argentina when Elizabeth Toledo was found naked and killed 
on the floor of her home. The police investigation revealed that Elizabeth had been raped, beaten, and strangled by several of the men she was living with. Elizabeth had three rooms rented out to three separate men. Two of the men came in and were arrested because they were suspects of the case. However, the third one had an alibi. Supposedly, the way the two men were tied to the crime scene and the crime itself was because of DNA evidence and bite marks found. Now, while standing outside the crime scene, a police officer heard what sounded like a woman screaming. Now, he found the girl dead on the floor in her home, but he found the parrot as well. And the parrot was supposedly screaming, I, no, por favor, solterme, which to translate means, no, please, let me go. And it was also reported that, um, Apparently, the neighbor could hear the bird screaming, why did you hit me? Why did you beat me? In like perfect Spanish. And of course, this was believed to be Elizabeth's last words. The trial date for the two men is still unknown, but the parrot's testimony will allegedly be used as evidence to help get a, convi to help get a conviction. Police in Colombia were repeatedly foiled in 2010 in their attempts to raid a notorious drug cartel. Lorenzo the Parrot had actually been trained to yell, run, run, you're going to get caught, or run, run, the cat is going to get you in Spanish. Lorenzo and two other specially trained parrots were trained to yell that whenever they saw the police, and so it gave a warning to everyone around them. But somehow, police were able to sneak past all three birds and get into headquarters. I'm not exactly sure how, it didn't specify, but I'm kind of curious to be honest. They confiscated weapons and lots of marijuana, and they took the three birds and four humans into custody. Now get this, Lorenzo was one out of 1,700 parrots to be confiscated around the area. Lorenzo was handed over to environmental authorities, which officially ended his criminal career, I guess you could say. Okay, this might sound crazy, but just hear me out. Echo the Parrot witnessed the crime, gave evidence, and was put into a witness protection program because of his involvement. Susie Heck was a wildlife rehabber and founder of Heck Haven. According to her, she was given Echo in the mid 90s and told to keep his presence a secret. Echo stayed with Susie for a year and during that time, she heard him reenact several disturbing scenes. Previously, Echo was the pet of a New Orleans crime boss and this crime boss was being charged with um, child abuse among other things. The parrot would continuously say, things he had heard, um, and he was also at risk of retaliation during the trials. He would also frequently moan, make thwacking noises, and he would imitate the crying and screaming of children. And more often than not, um, these instances of him making those noises were also followed by laughter from like an older man and that is to be believed that it is the crime boss's laughter and that is how he reacted to the child abuse that he was being accused of. The crime boss was allegedly convicted, um, however it's unknown what happened to Echo after being released from the rehabilitation center. A 98 year old woman in South Carolina by the name of Ann Copeland was found dead in her house a day after she was found, if that makes sense. She died the day after she was found in her house um, because of severe neglect and mistreatment. Anne's daughter initially called an ambulance when her mother started struggling to breathe. Then police were also dispatched afterwards because there were definitely concerns of elder abuse. They found Anne covered in sores, open wounds, and sitting in her own waist. The house was uncared for and unheated, so this poor woman had to survive the winters in a freezing house in December. 
Anne's parrot was taken from the house along with seven dogs and several cats. The parrot would say, help me, help me, and then laugh in a different voice. It is believed that this is a portrayal of Anne being abused, crying out for help, and her daughter just makes a mockery out of it. She just laughs. All the animals in the house were taken by animal control workers for treatment and rehoming. And I'm not sure what happened after that. There was no information in the article about what happened to Anne's daughter, um, if she was convicted, if she was let go, if they found other evidence to prove it was her, or if it could have been someone else. But um, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, give it a thumbs down. I don't really care. So subscribe if you're new. Comment down below videos you would like to see next. Let me know. Let me know what you guys thought on this case, and I'll see you guys in the next one.